Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk. And today, Max is joining me. Hi guys, there's a lot of news and stuff to go over. This might be a little bit long of a video, but it should be fun. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the DC uh, Superhero Girls. This is uh, a partnership with DC and Mattel is going to be handling um, the products. Not entirely sure if it's going to be uh, dolls or action figures, but you think if Mattel's involved, it's gonna, it should be dolls, right? Yeah. I really hope they make dolls because I really want a Harley Quinn and a Poison Ivy doll. That would be awesome. What do you guys think? Do you want to see these characters as in doll form made by Mattel? I think that would be amazing. Me too. Um, the show, we're also excited about the show because we like animated cartoon shows. Yeah. But it's for now, it's going to be a um, maybe like a TV special. I'm not entirely sure if it's definitely going to be a TV series, but it really depends on how people embrace it. Um, Uh, we, Toy Talk is for viewers too. We love hearing your responses in the comments. So we have some questions for you. Uh, do you think Mattel should handle the DC Supergirls? Well, we kind of said this already, but as super, as dolls or action figures, wh what do you guys want? We leave in the, in the comments below. And this is kind of there have been um, licensed dolls before for movies. But this is kind of a, a big deal with, uh, it could be a trend of uh, other licenses of products, movies to doll form. Sci-fi, fantasy, superheroes being released in doll form. What I mean by that is action figures, they get all the big movie licenses. Uh, what other pro uh, properties, fantasy, movies, sci-fi, would you like to see uh, maybe partner with Mattel to make dolls? And leave that in the comments below. What what other properties you think of that would be make really cool dolls instead of action figures? Um, are you disappointed that it's only a TV special? Would you like to see a whole series of these superhero girls? I would. We really like uh, what was one of the shows we liked in the past, um, Justice League, um, not Unlimited, what was it called? Okay, sorry about that, I, um, I kind of blanked for a moment. Young Justice, that's one of our favorite TV series, I actually went to get my personal DVD copy. I would love to see a series. Um, reminiscent of Young Justice and mainly the focus on these girls but it'd be great if the guys came in as a cameo they're obviously gonna show up at some point I would think but if you want to see a whole TV series of this leave that in the comments below too okay so moving on to Monster High news I have a couple pictures of the Amazon exclusive uh, collector's edition of Draculaura and she is available for pre-order on Amazon right now. And she comes out, I believe, July 19th was the date. But she looks amazing. If you guys have not checked out a Mommy and Gracie's review on Draculaura, they got her early. So go check out that to see her, like, um, I guess, in person live uh, and up close. But these are some Mattel released photos and I thought they were really cool. So I'm just letting it slide show through. I love that she has real uh, lashes and just all the embroidery detail they put into her is really, really amazing. I believe um, she is a slightly bigger than other Monster High dolls. Um, which I saw on the Mommy and Gracie show when they did their review. Um, she looks so pretty. Look at that up close face. The detail, the makeup. She's so gorgeous. 
So I hope you guys enjoy these Mattel released photos. They do such a good job with the backgrounds. Look at that. So cool. And the dress. I love that little um, cape that she has that looks like it's made out of spider webs. And the box. Look at that box. It's awesome. Some more photos of the box. Okay guys, I know I've gone over the Great Scary Reef upcoming dolls a couple times before, but with the San Diego Comic Con we're getting some official Mattel pictures, which look really cool. Um, you got the Toralei, and then there's Perry and Pearl. I like her tail a lot. It kind of looks snake-like, because she is supposed to be the daughter of the Hydra. And here's some pictures from actual San Diego Comic Con, the Monster High Mattel booth. And on that pi last picture, you saw that they had, it looked like generic Monster High stands. So my question for all of you to answer down in the comments is, do you think that these dolls will stand on their own like the Boo York, not Boo York, um, do you think they'll stand on their own like, uh, Serena Von Boo, the other mermaid we have, or do you think that they will get their own special stands um, that are cool, like the Haunted and Boo York stands? Um, I'd be interested to see if they can stand on their own or not. Okay, the next section of Monster High News is about the vinyls. And you can see there's pictures from San Diego Comic Con of different vinyls. They're going to introduce vinyl pets and some new chase figures that look awesome. And we have some questions for you guys. Uh, just one question. I actually had, I made the questions up and I found this one picture at the last moment that you'll see of a manster. But I was going to say the pets are amazing announcement. And uh, I'd like to see. Uh, variants of those too, but I was gonna ask do you. Your viewers want to see monsters, and what monster do you want to see first? But we kind of—they already revealed it. It looks like at one of these pictures coming up soon. Those look really cool. Yeah, I can't wait for the sugar coated. They look amazing. But they're deuce. Yeah, they're having a deuce vinyl figure too. Uh, I would like to see, probably won't happen for a really long time if it ever happens, but out of the boy Monster High characters, I really want a Nate and Rock final oh, figure. That would be cool. Yeah. So in the comments below, say what Manster would you like to see as a vinyl figure, besides Deuce, because he looks like he's going to be one. And then what pet do you want to see a variant of? Mm. Hmm. I would like to see a variant of Gulia's uh, owl. Oh, because Gulia's that that um, chase figure of Gulia looked amazing. It looked, I don't know, better quality than the other ones to me. Yeah. And so these candy coated ones do too. Yeah. This these two I am definitely going to have to get. I want them so bad. They're amazing. Do you have any more questions? Oh, uh, that was all. <laughs> Okay, well, hope you guys liked seeing these. Um, I'm excited. Are you guys excited for upcoming vinyl Monster High figures? I know I am. Okay, up next for Monster High news is the Monster Exchange. Um, got some new photos of uh, Issy Dawn Dancer. She looks amazing. I cannot wait for her. I think out of the three... Monster High Exchange that are coming out. She is definitely my favorite because she's a deer and her outfit looks really, really cool to me as well. And then I don't have pictures of the other two, but I do have artwork and that's Kirstie Trollson and Batsy Claro, which she looks like she'll be really cool as well. So now Max has some questions. Oh, well, one question. You already answered for you. Oh. Uh, is is he Dawn's answer your most anticipated doll of the next wave of exchange or the upcoming year? 
uh, or if you're looking, who, which one of the three you're looking for to more? So far from, since I've only seen the actual doll of Issy, Dawn Dancer, she's the one I'm most looking forward to. But I I think all three of them look really cool. Uh, Kirsty Trollson, she kind of looks nerdy with her like pixelated glasses. And then Batsy, look, I really think she could look amazing because her wings look like they'll be pretty cool. So comment down below if that's the one you're looking forward to the most, or maybe the reason you're looking forward to the other one more. Um, it's cool to see another deer doll. Yeah. What's the other doll you have? Oh, Doe A Deer from Novi Stars. She's the only other deer themed. They also have a Frightmare that looks like it's a deer. Oh yeah, well, well we have pictures of her coming up in a little bit. Okay, and to finish up, we have some more pictures that are coming out of San Diego Comic-Con of new Monster High uh, dolls, and these are the exclusives both for Monster High and Ever After High, and then there's Finnegan Wake, who looks pretty awesome. I can't wait for him. He's on display at Comic-Con right now. And, oh, here's a, the three-pack that's going to have the Boo York girls, which um, Max had a question about that. Oh, it's nice to see the, the girls again in another release with some cool outfits, but wouldn't have been cool to have Astronova there, too, in another mm -hmm. outfit. I really like Astronova, even though we, we still have to figure out how to get it to work right. It's an awesome set. We, maybe just get new batteries. I don't know. Yeah, I would have liked to see Astronova um, again, because she is a pretty cool alien-like character. Well, a da daughter of the alien character, actually. That one picture um, of Goliope and the new freak Dashik is cool. Cause the, uh, was it Twyla with the stilts? Yep. That's cool. Yep. I think it's cool that. Uh, they both uh, Twyla and Claudina come with their pets. I wish they did that for all the Freak to Chic line. That'd have been cool. I I still would want to see at least one Manster in the Freak to Chic line. Mm. I think they got like pushed into the the school fair line with like uh, Heath Burns and he's roasting marshmallows. It seems like, because it looked like he had the same outfit that he had in the Freak Du Chic webisodes, so it seems like they're doing a couple different lines around Freak Du Chic. Do you guys want to see more monsters in these um, these specialty lines? Like they come, they usually focus on the girls when they come out with these amazing like Freak Du Chic. New York did have Deuce, and that Deuce was awesome. Yeah. So, do you want to see more Mansters in upcoming lines? Comment below. Yeah. I think it would be, it'd really be cool if, like, in the future they did a Monster High doll line that was, like, just all the guys. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Comment there. Do you want to see that, too? I That would be awesome. That would be a big seller, I think, if they just focused on the guys for one of the... Yeah. Yep, and here you see in the picture of the uh, deer, um, the deer Frightmare, and she might might be my favorite out of all of them. I definitely, definitely want her at least out of the second wave. In that Love's Not Dead two pack with Golia and Slow Mo uh -huh. is really cool. I like that they're doing like you said a while back in one of your reviews. You like it when they're not so basic, the guys in the two packs. Yeah. And with that, um, when Rochelle they don't Go have shorts. <laughs> Rochelle Goyle and Rochelle and uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, 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 <laughs> I totally am blanking on his name right now. Uh, Garrett. Garrett. Yes. Um, that was like the start of like really. At least that I can remember of the two packs where the guys really got the full treatment, too. Mm -hmm. Like with the with their outfit. So I think it's a cool trend 
that slow-mo looks, I think he looks, well, you think he looks better than the other slow-mo releases? Oh, they have Garrett in the back. Yeah. So, I like it. Yep. Okay, guys, moving on to some Ever After High doll news. We got some pictures, just two, actually, um, from San Diego Comic-Con. Um, we have the giant Madeline Hatter next to uh, the love-struck Cupid and royal, royally Ever After uh Apple White, which a lot of people have been commenting that they love her straight hair, and I agree. I think she looks amazing. Kind of like a good counterpart to the San Diego Comic Con Raven Queen in like the style of dresses. They would look awesome next to each other displayed, and I can't wait for that Cupid. Do you like the trend of the larger dolls? Um, I'm gonna say I like. I like Calliope because she's a new character and then she's a large doll, but I don't think I personally need to collect the same characters in the same outfit just in a bigger size. I think the main reason I like it is the articulation, Yeah. but do you think they could pull off the same art articulation with a smaller doll? Uh, probably because as a lot of people reminded me, Avia Trotter also has the chest joint and she's smaller so I think they could I I think it's cool to have the option for the larger dolls but I would like maybe just focus on articulation on this the regular size yeah because you're gonna run out of room quick especially yeah. if you're a collector yeah I don't know L please leave your opinions yeah Okay guys, so now I have a new segment called uh, Toy Talk Wish List, and in this uh, segment we're going to look at some pictures of characters that have not been made into dolls yet, and this week um, Toy Talk Wish List segment is on Ever After High, different characters that are not made into doll form yet, and basically you can tell me down in the comments which guy or girl or guy and girl you would like to see made into a doll signature release next um, we have hopper i think he would be amazing doll he's so cute and like could come with a little frog version of himself actually this melody piper is going to be made yeah, into a doll I, I included it anyway just just for you know just to look at it and Little Bo Peep, I would like to see her made into a doll because her hair is amazing. I did that just for fun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I put that in. And there's another of Little Bo Peep with her sheep. <laughs> Look at that sheep's face. There's some more Hopper. I know people have really been wanting Daring Charming forever since he's like one of the first guys in the series and he still hasn't been made into a doll and Dexter and uh, Alistair who just was like a brand new character came out in doll form but still no daring what do you guys think oh Sparrow hood yeah Sparrow hood would be awesome as well I think Ever After High overall just needs more boy well, dolls. Gu Gus and Helga are... They, I don't know why they're not out yet. They were rumored a while ago that they were. Yeah. A pack. Yeah. She looks really... Yeah, I would love to see them. Like, basically all of them. Well, but if I had to choose one guy and one girl... Um, you know what? I would choose Hopper. And I would choose Little Bo Peep. Um, the daughter of Little Bo Peep. As the guy and the girl I would like to see come out next what do you you know leave a comment down below and tell me which guy and girl you would like to see come out next okay guys that wraps it up for this episode of toy talk uh, remember if you are a new viewer to hit that subscribe button and comment down below answering all our questions. I know there was a lot, but we do really enjoy hearing your opinions and comments. And remember, if uh, you enjoyed that wish list 
a segment to give this video a thumbs up and let us know to keep on doing that uh, segment in Toy Talk. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.